friendly reminder in case you want to stick around and watch the uh, series of this, uh, me playing this solo. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to also hit that little notification bell so that way you can always be notified as soon as we have a new video come up. Uh, also, share it. Please spread this like butter on bread, like peanut butter on a delicious piece of English muffin. Now, last time we were here, our little gold digger fell into this stupid hole. Oh, God, she's got blue hair. Wow, Coco, like, you know, you were doing pretty good until you started doing this stuff right here. I mean, yeah, it's a girl, but, you know, it's like 2020, dude. Like, come on. Holy shit. Atlanta? Oh, God. Seriously? Is Atlanta even cold? Like, does, does Atlanta get cold? Can you call yourself Atlanta if you don't get cold? Oh my god, do you think they named them after towns? Do you think there's one called Las Vegas that's like an alcoholic? <clears throat> Has a gambling addiction? Or the total opposite? This thing's already taken some damage. And it's a water. So we're just gonna shock the shit out of it. Call it good. No effect. Business. Ooh, are you paralyzed? Unfortunate. <laughs> Taste my chocobo's wrath. Eat it, bitch. Oh, you dead. You so dead. You not even get no. Nope. Congratulations, a chocobo leveled up. Hell yeah, you did. That's a brilliant thing. Oh. You knew this would happen. But yet you still did it. He's still straightening his glove with the same two fingers up. Like, dude, do you always, like, he must have, like, one of those nervous tics, you know? Oh, God. I bet he has a complex. Bet he's got a, compl a glove complex. All the gloves. Like this man, when he goes home, he puts on a different pair of mittens. When he's cooking, he wears oven mitts. When he's uh, using the bathroom and stuff like that, I'm sure he's got plastic gloves that he wants to put on. And I guarantee he has uh, those those gloves that are also sponges for your back, so that way you can wash yourself up. And when he pets his dog, brush gloves. Guarantee it. Calling it. There it is. Playing with his gloves again. He's all like, oh god, a new person. I better adjust these. They look ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry. After teleporting, I have to fix my gloves. This dude is all about his gloves. He even tries pulling off like the hero smirk with it, like he's about to kick someone's ass. You know shit's getting real when I play with my gloves. So we'll go back to the city. We'll talk to this broad. I gotta check for trash. Search around the city for garbage in various spots. When you have... When you have collecting a few, come. When you have collecting a few? When you have collected a few. I was like, did I read that wrong? Am I an idiot? Because I have my moments. Like, there are times where I'll just read too damn fast. And this only apparently is like, when you have collecting a few, come back to the lady to trade it in. Garbage. Another pile of garbage. Hmm. Oh, ho. Okay. So these people right here ran away from their previous homes because this guy right here was all like, Sandy, I love you. And she's all like, but my dad, my dad will never approve. He's like, oh, Sandy, you got to believe in me. Nobody gives up in a drive through And all of a sudden their lives are basically revolved around Greece and shit like that. Because clearly, you know, like, He's a badass asshole, and she's some preppy girl that he met at the beach one day. But at the same time, she's like, 
she's so happy and she's all about peace and this guy's all like god sandy i gotta get a job and he's looking on the computer over here and he's all like uh oh, porn's more you know enjoyable than that and then she pulls out her books she's all like why don't you learn some stuff and he's all like fuck uh gloves and then he was all like i'm gonna grab a pickaxe one day so basically they ran away they moved to this town right here that's their home right there that's the picture of it they're both farm kids clearly and um huh, that clock's been broken for like years like that's all it says just all like and he's always like i gotta be to work and he's like oh never mind i forgot that clock is stuck on 2 30 oh no and she's all like why don't you come back to bed and relax and stuff like that you have such a hard day and he's all like but you don't understand i gotta make money to keep you happy and prove to your dad that i'm not a horrible person and she's all like look you don't need to prove shit all you need to do is just believe in us and all that stuff. And he's all like, what is this? Some kind of movie? What are you? Some kind of fairy tale? Fucking bullshit believer? What is this, Disney? And all of a sudden, she's all like, why are you getting upset at me? It's my dad who hates you. And he's all like, well, he must have got it from somewhere. It's only a matter of time. You're technically his daughter. Maybe one day you'll hate me. And then she's all like, wait, what is that supposed to mean? Are you planning on breaking up? And he's like, no. In fact, and then... Out of nowhere, the music starts playing. And then you just hear, There's a look in your eye. <laughs> and it starts playing that song. I think I want to marry you. And all of a sudden, she's all like, You had this plan the whole entire time. He's all like, Fucking psych. And runs out the door. This man right here, we're going to call Billy and his wonderful woman that we call Sandy. Like, I don't think we gave him a name. Unless you guys want to call him Dandy and be that fucking weird, but they base their lives off of him. See, that would be copyright infringement. We can't do that shit. But instead, what we can do is we can give them we can give them hope, you know? Like, look at this. They have a coffee maker together. That's when you know shit's serious. And look. The sink is empty. That's true love. That's true love right there. And look, he gets her flowers every single day. He steals them from the garden next door because he's a fucking prick. But that's still fresh picked flowers next to the window. So when she wakes up on her side, which I'm guessing he sleeps right here because it's closer to the entrance. And she sleeps right here. So that way she can always get the morning light on her face with these flowers. Okay, I've pushed this on enough. But you know, you gotta really think about it, man. Like, picture of home picture of the present books of the past this is full circle right here people this is full circle and one day one day he's gonna get that phone call from her dad and her dad's gonna be like you know what she's not on the streets you did good Billy slash Danny slash whatever the hell we're calling you so don't look so worried all the damn time you did good kid you did good one day There might be a little nursery, like, right over here. And they'll move this bookshelf to, like, over here next to this other bookshelf, you know? And they'll put a little rocking chair right here and a place at. And they'll be all happy because they're going to have a dog. Or a really, really big cat. A puma. Some strong-ass character development right there. These people are clearly building a fucking mecca. <sighs> Guys, it's not gonna work. You can't build giant robots. And just solve your fucking problems by building giant fucking robots. It has bunny ears. It's Robo Bun Bun 578. You know, fuck with Robo Bun Bun. He's trained. Destroy. I mean, look at that. It looks like a fucking rabbit. That's a bunny. It's Robo Bun Bun. I like this guy over here. Like, can you see it okay? And they're all like, fucking duh, asshole. They are building a fucking robot. 
Fuck that. I'm calling it Robo Bun Bun. That's right. Peter Cotton, go fuck yourself. This is what it's gonna be. Hopping along your corpse with its fucking heat seeking missiles of hate. Are we just gonna ignore the fact that there's a fucking deer, Bambi's dad, right there? Or Bambi himself shooting laser beams out of his fucking eyes in the distance? This has become a fucking saga now. Bambi's back and he's pissed the fuck off. It's, he's on fucking Pride Rock, which means he killed Simba because he's a sick son of a bitch. Oh, shit. What are they going to do? Tell their parents? Oh, tasteless joke. It looks like we're headed back to the orphanage. <laughs> How can you say that with a resting bitch face? This is horrible. So, but we got we got an update about about little Miss Admin here and her friend Stephanie, so you guys remember how I told you how, you know, like, Stephanie was sleeping with Admin's boyfriend and stuff, and that's why, like, her boyfriend left her, blah, 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 etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because she just didn't make the cut in his eyes because he's a shallow fucking prick. Well, good news. Admin actually found her calling in life. She's going to be a comedian because she's got such a dark background. What makes the best comedians in life? Broken people. Let me tell you why. They will do anything for approval. That's what we do. We're good people like that. But admin here is different. Why is she different? Because she has a can-do attitude. I mean, just look at that. You can see it bursting out of her. Every pore is just open up with positivity. Some strong-ass character development right there. She must be the bun-bun operator. Yep. Yeah. All right, do I have everything? Yes. Give me the key. Sweet. Fair trade. It looks the same. Did she say shit? Or shut it? I didn't catch that fast now. It's time to return to the orphanage. Save all the kiddos. Now I can fight this guy. But its name is like, Tekala! <laughs> That is so great. Wow. Straight to the point. Oh, yeah. Beat that ass with a flip-flop. Boom, headshot. And that's how you get it done. You ready to fight? You ain't gonna get your money back. Already spent it. Hookers and blow. But I'll give you a chance for redemption. Should have known better. But I had to. Yo, my bird's back. All right, let's head back over. Here we go. Okay. What's he got against Coco? That's a valid point. Go in here and see what we can do. Let's clear potato chips over here, over here, and over here. More potato chips. Potato chips. 
chips. Savvy for the potato chips. Oh god. Pongo. That's a fiery shape. Fuck you. That's why I don't mess with the champ, bitch. Potato chips all over the floor, though. I don't think they're looking for... Is that their way of trying to find kids, though? Fucking throw a bunch of potato chips on the fucking floor. Might work. Five second roll. be able to uncover the secrets of the artifact he gave him. It's probably his penis. That seems pretty ancient. <laughs> Looks like it hasn't. Yeah, it's all dusty and shit. Yeah. Haunted woods. Yay. Been here. Or should I say, I didn't have to come here, but I did anyway. Master Roshi. Now we're gonna beat your ass. Fucking karate kid looking motherfucker. Destroying him. Sick tiger shit. Ooh. Minute. So clever. You'd be better off calling him Clocker. Pansy. Would have been so much better. Oh. My bird is leveling up. He's got Thunder Blast. Word? <laughs> you got your butt kicked, mofo. This world is confusing. See if I can't find that thief and get that letter back. First things first. I bet there's a place I can go around here to heal. Talk to this girl. Okay, the shit you stole. Fuck it, day. Oh my god. Gross. It's got heart shaped eyes and everything. Alright. Oh, but it's leveled up. <laughs> Forever leveled up. Stamina search. Hmm. So, in a nutshell, everybody, we had to grab a letter because this man got attacked by a girl named Hannah. We went to the place she was staying, beat her up to get it back, and the letter belonged to her. So when she was all like, it's my letter. And then we were all like, give it back. And we beat the crap out of her. We just. Not only is it stealing, but if it actually opened up, that's a federal. I'm just. Anyway. If you've been enjoying watching this and stuff like that with just the random antics I've been doing playing Nexomon Extinction with the best co-host known as co-host Coco. Please, give us a like, a comment, subscribe, 
Don't forget to hit that little notification bell as well, so that way you can always know when we drop in new shows for your entertainment. Also, if you would please share this as much as you possibly can to get us out there, help us out, reach the follow, reach the subscribers, reach the comments, everything you possibly can. And remember, every Nexomon that I catch, you can nickname yourself as well. If I see a nickname that I really like, or even just the first couple of them specifically on one of these Nexomon that I have and it can be the Nexomon that I do have in my inventory and also in the computer please just give me a random name and I will be gladly to put it on there for you so until then I hope you've had a lot of fun I know I'm enjoying playing this too and I will be playing it a lot more it's going to be a little mini series that I'm going to be playing because, well, to be honest with you, I'm having a great time. And I'm hoping that you guys are as well. So now that I'm done ranting and raving and stuff like that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night or morning, whatever it is you're doing. And until next time. Bye. <laughs>